Let's take a look now at a risk event for the week starting Monday, the 28th of November. We're looking through to Friday next week, uh, as almost every first Friday of the month, we get the U.S. jobs report, the non-farm payrolls figure uh, from the Department of Labor. A very early forecast pointing to a 200,000 job creation. The unemployment rate is seen rising to 3.8%. What are the risks? Well, we've seen the latest suggestions from the Fed members that they're prioritizing to combat the number of one enemy of the economy, that is of inflation. And now they feel it's right to see what effect all those rate rises have had on growth and jobs. And uh, one of the uh, areas uh, of this to watch for is to see just how much of a slowdown uh, there is in the growth of jobs in the economy as monetary policy has been tightening. Let's consider the possibility that there could be a downside risk that would take more steam out of the US dollar. And for this, I want to take a look at what's happening with the dollar against the Japanese yen. Now, if we see further declines coming through and indeed a soft number out for this US jobs number out on Friday, don't forget we get the private payrolls on Wednesday, which could give us a little bit of an inkling as to how uh, the Friday number comes out. There's not often a lot of correlation, but sometimes there is. So that could give us a hint. But certainly the Fed believes that they're now achieving what they're setting out to achieve, and that is a lower inflation figure. But at the same time, uh, we're getting lower growth and we're getting a lower growth in jobs more specifically. So could the risk be on the downside? Now, if you are short going into these numbers at the back end of next week, you want to put a nice wide stop in. So you'll stop at around about the 142.75 level, 142 and three quarters. And um, we're currently trading 138.59. You want to have a lot of space between the stop and where we are because there is a whole week to go uh, before this number comes out. But if we do see a further weakening of the US dollar leading up to those numbers, I think you'll be in the money. And then if we do get a weaker number, then of course, there is the potential for further downside the dollar against the Japanese yen. You get a candle closed below the 137.65. We've got the 200 day moving average popping up at 133.97 at the moment. And then there's this line of support established back on the 2nd of October at 130.40. This is building up potentially to what could be a period of slightly lower numbers coming out from the US economy.